Hello everyone, this is Turia from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your weekly general reading for the 25th of February to the 3rd of March, 2019. Alright, I'm pulling from the Alice in Wonderland uh, Oracle. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. I will go over the cards with you. I'm going to go ahead and pull and get your uh, cards uh, laid out. I am also going to be pulling an oracle card from the Universe Has Your Back. All right. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Beautiful. I love that. All right, Scorpio. And you guys, I've already been meditating, and I have pre-shuffled all of the cards. I just like to shuffle a little bit on the camera as well, so you guys can see that. All right, Scorpio. First card out is Justice. All right. Crossing you is the King of Pentacles. Your foundation, Nine of Pentacles. Recent past, Nine of Wands. Crowning you, Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. New circumstance is the Feralit. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energies is the Eight of Wands. Very nice. I like that. This is very nice reading right here. All right, so I feel like this is going to be a week, you guys, where you might have others challenging you, Scorpio, as far as maybe them trying to force their ideas or what they want to do, you know, on you. And what I feel like this card is saying, trust in yourself, trust your inner guidance system, believe in yourself, um, go with what's best for Scorpio, all right? So I feel like that's a very important message because you know what's best for you, Scorpio, and you have a nice reading here. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. I know I already read it, but I wanted to read it again. It's very positive. I just, I love it. All right, so... We're starting out here, the situation of the week, with the Justice card. You could be dealing uh, with the Libra, Scorpio, but I feel like there is some type of clarity happening, in maybe in your uh, financial affairs. This could be something legal. There could be uh, agreements being made or making some type of compromise this week. It's in your favor. It's beautiful. I really do feel like this is your finances. Now we have the King of Pentacles, which is crossing you. So this is somewhat of a challenge you might be dealing with this week. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I, I love the King of Pentacles. He is very reliable. He can be very materialistic as well. But this isn't somebody that has his own business. He is has a lot of stability. This is could be a loan. This could be somebody that is uh, maybe fighting you on something in a legal situation even. But this could be where the money is coming from as well. He has it and he has a lot. Um, and, and if this is not somebody that is against you, this could be for you as well. This could be where there's going to be a compromise made this week in some type of... Uh, now, this doesn't have to be legal, uh, Scorpio. This could be something that's just fair, okay? Something that's just, that's coming out. Striking a balance, all right? Um, something that needs to be done uh, between uh, partners, whether it be business, work, you know, whatever. This could be a family member as well. This could be an inheritance. Um, but, the, you know, I feel like there's a compromise coming through here. You have a lot of pinnacles on the table here. And 
you know, rewarding pinnacles. I mean, down here in your foundation, you have the nine of pinnacles. This is beautiful. This is what you are working towards, uh, Scorpio. And I love the nine of pinnacles. This is independence um, at its finest. This is having stability, having control over your life, your finances. And I feel like you're the one that got you this far, okay? Nobody did this but you. So I, I feel like this is... Give yourself a pat on the back because uh, this is a very positive card right here. Now, we do have coming out of the recent past, the Nine of Wands. I always look at this as a, a major victory card in my opinion because this is persevering. This is being able to move on, move forward. He's been wounded. He's collected all of these wands and he can still get up and move forward. Um, you know, go out with his desire, his passion, and fight whatever battle it is that he's battling. Um, so, to me, this shows a lot of willpower in moving forward. And this is what is has taken place in the recent past. And this is what you know. This is what's crowning you. The Ten of Pentacles. I mean, very nice. This is that, you know, this card to me represents having wealth having you know it doesn't mean being rich this can represent being financially stable and especially with the nine of pentacles down here in your foundation you guys you guys have been working hard for what you believe in okay um this ten of pentacles can represent you know inheritance family you know lineage this can be family values as well you guys um, like I said, inheritance is coming up really, really strong because you do have the justice. This could have been somebody, your father, grandfather. Uh, this doesn't have to be an inheritance, though. Like I said, this could be a trust fund. Um, getting that set up as well. If it's not, this literally could be the energy just of you guys working so hard to achieve and strike a balance because we have the feral lit coming out and this is uh rep is the temperance card in the other most tarot decks okay this is balanced relationships this is freedom but get commitment kind of coming in right here this is believing in yourself this is the spiritual alchemical process right here is what i get from this card and you have Two cards here that are of balance, okay? The heart of the matter right here, which is justice, seeking that balance. You see these scales? He's holding the sword of truth. There's that owl. I love it because owls represent knowledge, wisdom. Um, here's another balance card, you know, with the ferulite coming in here. I feel like, you know, if this isn't an inheritance coming in, um... This is you guys finding balance within work in order to be able to enjoy time at home. Um, your family values mean a lot to you. They're strong. So maybe you were overworked and now you've, maybe you've moved up possibly in the workplace as well. That's what I'm getting here. You've gained some independence, all right, that's made you feel at this Ten of Pentacles with that stability you know, being able to be around family, um, spending more time with family, you know, enjoying those family values that mean a lot to you. You've struck a balance here. The overall energy with the Eight of Wands is, you know, excitement, exciting news coming in. This could be about this justice or whatever it is that you are trying to work out here in this situation. This is could be air travel. Some of you could be traveling on a plane. Um, I, what I really get from this though, you guys, this is, you know, excitement, fast, quick communication. Um, I really feel like it is about this situation. Um, this could be also people getting a hold of you, maybe trying to intervene, um, maybe trying to give out their own advice in a situation. And this could be, you know, which is fine. People, you know, are allowed to have their own opinions. The, but, you know, I'm not going to tell you what I think about, you know, <laughs> uh, that, though. Let me, um, 
you know, follow your own good advice. Okay, you guys, trust yourself. You know what is best for you. So I, I just, I was going to say something kind of smarty, but I'm not going to. Please forgive me, but, you know, advice is, everybody's got some, you know, go with your own, okay? Because it's going to get you furthest because you know what's best for you, Scorpio. This is a very positive reading. Like I said, this could, you know, be an improvement at work where you get to spend more time with family. Um, you, you're gaining your independence here. This could be a trust fund, a legal situation in that way, or it could be an inheritance coming in. Very positive. Thank you guys so much. I do daily readings as well, as well as monthlies. So if you would like, go and check those out. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, Scorpio. Thank you. Bye-bye.